Hello folks, Kyle here, Dark 30 Outdoors. Hey, today I'm with my buddy Scott, best friend. I mean, shit, we've known each other, what, it's like three decades now, right? Oh yeah, we used to be roommates. About 30 years or so. Yeah. So yeah, Scott with uh, Railroader Outdoors and more. Uh, be sure and check out his channel. I will put a link in the description down below so you can hit his channel if you haven't already. I know I've shared him out. You've been on my live stream mm -hmm. a few times. so. Some of you folks should know him, but uh, we're here at Allen Creek. This is his brand new pontoon boat. Uh, it's not his maiden voyage. He did get it out when he got it with yeah. like a shakedown trip, but uh, this is the first time going out fishing yeah. in his brand new pontoon boat. So be a little bit of an adventure. He's gonna be learning his boat, boat control, that sort of thing. This is your first time owning a pontoon, right? Yes, it Have is. Have you ever fished off of a pontoon? Uh, when I lived in Georgia, we uh, a yeah. buddy of mine, he had a pontoon okay. at a campground. We used to bass fish out of it. You've done it a few times. Yeah. I've done it a few times, but, you know, it's a learning experience. We are at Allen Creek Lake. It has been on fire for crappies. Uh, my Uncle John and I got into them about a week and a half ago. We've been seeing reports. They're still snapping. So uh, we're going to get out there and uh, hit the water, and hopefully we'll bring you some fish. Definitely. Peace. Beta stayed out off of it. Catch him off of it. Here we go. I'm going to put an anchor in. Okay. I if you can cast. Folks, this is fishing etiquette 101 right here. This is a lack of fishing etiquette. Exactly. Now, I had to remind John, don't worry about the other gate. The boat. We were about our boat. We've been here, first boat in here. They pulled up and they set up all of us, but now they're stuck in a crowd because we're catching and they're not. Cooper almost got a fish O. He's got the biggest one of the day so far. What's fish O, Tom? Fish O. 13. It's due by midnight? Yep. We did a double, doubled up. Yeah, that's right.
face. He's got a double. Dude. Dude, wait, 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 wait. Let me. What you got there, Coop? What you got? What did you do? Two at the same time. Doubled up, dude. That's awesome. That is awesome. I look at that box. <laughs> Two thumbs up. No, four thumbs up. <laughs> four. four thumbs up. Boy, we were tearing them up today. Uh, Made in voyage for the Angler Quest. I was telling Scott, Railroader Outdoors, that uh, he he's got to come up with a name for his boat. Maybe uh, maybe Slap Fest. I don't know. Uh, we were into the crappies. We went to our first spot. The bite was pretty good. We had some other anglers that wanted to kind of kind of crowd in on us. So we blew out. And we went to uh, Plan B. And uh, tell me, how did Plan B work out? Well, we went in the first cove and. Didn't mark fish, didn't catch anything. Did we get a bite? Not even a bite. So Kyle's like, um, let's go around the corner. So we went around the corner and we sat up and I made a cast and as soon as Bobber hit the water, it went up. Bobber and, down, wasn't yeah, it? It was uh, good times and it was fast and furious. And Cooper got into it and I think he actually got hooked in on uh, becoming a fisherman. He uh, enjoyed himself quite immensely. Yeah, you know, that was really cool. Uh, how old is Cooper? 12. Cooper is 12 years old. He has fished before. I don't know that he's really yeah. super caught the fishing bug, but he, he kind of caught it today. It was neat he, to watch it. it. He came close to catching the most, but he definitely caught the biggest. He tried for a fish Ohio. It was pushing 12 and a quarter, pushing 12 and a half. He was close, he was close. I owe him five bucks. <laughs> yeah, he caught a double, didn't he? He actually caught two crappie at one time. Um, one on each because we we put two two jigs on the on the line. He caught both of them, and he goes, "If I catch two at the same time, he goes, you give me five bucks.'" I'm like, "Yeah, sure, because that's not going to happen." Well, now I'm short it five happens. bucks. <laughs> two thumbs up for Cooper. Definitely, that was awesome. We had a great day on the water, didn't we, bud? Oh, I did definitely. That was a long time. Uh, we haven't done that in a while. Yeah, we were on a bite and we yeah. smoked crappie today. And now I got I got a give my hats off to the pontoon. Um, Kyle and I both have fished off them before, but not really fished off of them, if that makes any sense. Um, here and there. Right, here and there. Um, we've never owned one. So just from our experience today, and it's not because we caught a ton of fish, it was because of the comfort. We were out there early morning. We had the top was the way it is now, it was down. And we were enjoying ourselves. Plenty of room casting. You could walk up and down the boat. You got tired, you had plenty of seating, you could sit down. Well, Cooper, um, he is a fair complexion in his skin. He was starting to feel a little bit of the heat, so he's like, can we put the top up? So we put the top up and got in some shade. It was nice. Um, I must say, for your local reservoirs and your small lakes and stuff like that, pontoon, you get a nice sized motor on the back of it. So we had an awesome day, busted some slabs, my that's buddy. That's right, that's right. So We'll be eating good tonight. Yeah. We'll see you. As always, thanks for watching. Peace.